sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install and set up HDSDR on a Windows 10, on a Windows 10 uh, computer here. So we're at the uh, HDSDR website here, and we're just going to scroll down and download the latest version here. Now you can pick the other one if you want, but we're just going to download it. Next thing we need to do is go over here to hardware, scroll down, and we need to get a couple files here, or at least one. We need to get the RTOSDR USB so we can right click, open. Now, if, if it don't download, like it's not doing that, for me, right click copy link, and once you paste it, it'll download it then. So we'll just keep that. Now, if you're using the uh, RTL TCP option, you're going to need the uh, file for that. So we're just going to download that guy. Now, you don't have to do this if you're not using. Uh, the RTL TCP option. So with that being said, let's go ahead here and open up our files, but I will just pause this for now. All right, so we have our three files here. <clears throat> so we're just going to go ahead and right click and extract that guy. So we have our RTL file here, so we're just going to drag that out of here to make it a little easier for everybody. We can delete that. So let's go ahead and install the HDSDR software. Now you can uh, choose your options here if you want. All right, so we're not going to launch this yet because if we would happen to launch it, it's not work here because we don't have a RTL device. So let's close that out. And what we need to do is we can highlight these, copy, then we need to go to our computer, Windows, Program File 86, HDSDR, right click and paste them two files in there. Now, if we run our software, it's going to come up with a <clears throat> screen here and you're going to choose so we're just going to use the RTL one open and here we go so now if we stop it we have our device there's the serial number that I have on this particular one and we are up and running so, if we stop this and go back and rerun this again, if we want the RTL TCP one, that is the one we have. And as you can see, we have our port here and our information for the TCP. So, I'll throw a link in the description for all this. And uh, I could just upload the uh, a zip file of both uh, DLL files. <clears throat> so uh, hopefully this helps out. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.